Jeremiah, I am fishing right now. I'm fishing right now. I can't take your Budweiser light. I wish, if I'm going to drink, it's not going to be Budweiser light. I'm fishing for trout on the Mississippi. <laughs> sure know what I've been doing since we've been doing this ever since we've been six. Here we are. Just a couple of nine-year-olds. <laughs> Three years. Come a long way. I got Bud Lights. I got a fake ID that lets me acquire the Bud Lights. You got a beautiful fishing rod and, might I, I add, a great talent. I great finesse and be getting the fishes. I'm getting one, rolling one in right now. You know it's gonna be for our dinner. It's gonna be for our dinner. You better appreciate it. Okay. I'll see it when I weigh it. Here it is. Look at him. He's still alive. Oh, Let's boy. call him Tommy. Tommy. How did you get him? Here, this is the end for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to gut you, and I'm about to eat you. What a sad day. I feel kind of bad and maybe we should start to be more more proactive and more socially conscious. Maybe you should throw him back. You know those crazy rich people, that's what they do. They go on big fishing trips and they catch fish and they throw them back in. It's a whole bunch of nonsense. They pay thousands of dollars to do that. That's not, that's nonsense. We caught this fish. Hey, you eat. Caught Tommy. Well then eat it. Make him stop breathing. He's trying to gasp for air. And make him stop breathing. Look at the beautiful big rainbow fish. Make him, make him put him back in and let him survive. Maybe he's got four kids in the ocean. Put him back in the Mississippi River. What about you? You might be destroying a family right now. Stop thinking about your dinner. Tommy, you got kids? I'm gonna catch them. <laughs> you got kids, huh? I'm gonna kids. <laughs> you got a lot, like a thousand kids. I have a foster care kid. I got a doctor kid. Tell me back. Tell me back. Tell me back. Tell me back. Tell me. Let me go. It's a person. You big jerk. I got a doctor kid. Tell me back. 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 Tommy, I'm gonna throw you back, but I have two questions for you. All right, shoot you. <laughs> How do you do the paperwork to do the adoptions? Fish language. <laughs> you got another question? So I, I can barely breathe right no, now. No, Tommy, you've done enough. <laughs> Thanks a lot, buddy. <laughs> I think you did a great job. I thought that was great. I thought that was very philanthropic. <laughs> you know, I, I learn a lot when I come out here with you. I know, we learn a lot of lessons. It's not just about fishing. People think you're just sitting out here doing nothing. No, you are learning about life. You are becoming a better person. You are ameliorating yourself. You are improving the life condition. You are making the world free of poverty. We are solving solutions. We are figuring out how not to get Trump hired again. We are figuring about how to make the world a better place. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people tonight who've been hard, having a hard time processing. I hear it's, it's going hard. around. It's going around, but you know what? That's what? why I like you. You got a lot. You got a lot going on in that brain. And I got one thing going on in my brain. Sex painting. <laughs> <laughs> sex painting. You know, there was a time when all my Saturdays were sex painting. I wasn't fishing one lick or one bite. Did you know I used to be a sex painting? No way. Yes, I did. I used to I, do it. I how used to pose. You when you did that? Probably an unconscionable age. Not <laughs> I don't like that story. I don't think we're gonna go there. We don't. <laughs> I think that'd be inappropriation. Let's just imagine that the same story happened to you, but you're like 27. <laughs> but that wasn't the case. I know. <laughs> what I'm imagining is not so good. But I, you know, I got priors. I got two counts of statutory imagination already on my record. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you've never gotten caught. No, I yeah. got caught. I tell you that I have, I have, I have four would-be felonies on my record. Um, really? Yeah. You never yeah. told. Yeah, and almost told me about. misdemeanor. Almost. An almost misdemeanor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was when I tried to steal gum from Walgreens. Did you almost steal it or was almost a lot of gum? I almost stole it. 
And then something inside, that deep voice inside, that inner conscientiation inside, that sense of what is the right thing to do, the sense of like, hey, hey, you're doing something wrong. Hey, hey, don't do it, do it, don't do it, do it, do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, do it. And then I didn't do it. And so it was an almost misdemeanor. Got it. You know what that voice sounds like for me? What? Sex painted voice. Go for it, bro. Go for it. You would have made me a misdemeanor then. I did in my head. <laughs> You're making me guilty. I'm not guilty. It's not on my record. You know, ever since the thought crimes law was passed, we're all guilty of thought crimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm, I'm actually very pure. I don't have any criminality in my mind. I know. I, that's why I love you. You are pure of heart and spirit and mind. Oh, thank you for saying that. Yeah. Someday you make a proposal to me. Yeah, but I might. You're thinking it. I am. I'm thinking it. I am. And so maybe that'll happen in 7 2, 1969. Yeah. Wait, what year is it? <laughs> <laughs>